Hey everyone, welcome back. So this is the another most important scenario based power BI interview question that has been asked by the interviewer of the Agoda during the recruitment process of Power BI developer job role. Okay, and this question has been provided to me by one of the connection of LinkedIn. All right. So before moving into the question, let me show you the data set that I have already imported into this Power BI desktop environment and that is called as the address and the customer. Okay. And if you want to see the data, just click on this table view. And here you can see this address table contain three columns. One is the customer address, then customer city and the state. Okay. Then next is the customer table and this table contain customer name, age and gender. All right. So these are the two columns that we have already uploaded into this Power BI desktop environment. Okay. Now let's move to the report view and we'll see what exactly the question is. Okay. So the question is, suppose you have two table. One is the customer table and another is the address table. Okay. And these two table do not have any common column in between this. Okay. That is called as the two disconnected table. Okay. So our requirement is, how do you combine two disconnected tables to create a final table with the columns from the individual tables. It means these are the two disconnected table and out of these two disconnected table, we have to create another new table where it should contain all the column from both the table. Okay. So how can you do that? This is the requirement. All right. So now let's see how we can resolve this issue. Okay. So for that, first of all, you have to create one common column in between these two table. Okay. And that column should be present in this particular customer table as well as in the address table. All right. So how can you do that? For that, just go to the home tab and inside this, we have a options called as the transform data, right? So just click over here. Then it will take you to the power query editor. Okay. And these are the two tables that we have already uploaded. One is the address table and another is the customer table. Okay. So just click on this address table and here we will add another column that is called as the index column. Okay. So for that, click on this add column, then click on index column drop down. Okay. And then click on from one. It means I want to create a new column called as the index column and that index column should start from the one. All right. That's why I'm selecting here as from one. And now here you can see we have successfully added another column called as the index column and that column contain the data from one to six. Okay, and the data type of this particular column is full number. Got it? Likewise, again, we have to go to the customer table. And here also we have to add another index column. So just click on this drop down and click on from one. And here also we have successfully added that index column, right? So now we have successfully added this index column from. And now we have successfully added this index column both in the customer table and the address table. Now index column is the common column in between these two table. Correct. Now next step is what we will do. We will merge these two table that is called as a customer table and address table. Why we are going to merge these two tables because our end requirement is we have to create a new table which should contain all the columns from both the table. Right. So to do that, what you have to do, just go to the home tab and click on any one particular table from here. Let me click on this customer table. Okay, then go to this merge query. Okay, and click on this drop down, then click on merge query as new. Then you can see a pop up like this. Okay, where the name of this particular new table is called as the merge. And here we have to select the table name. So we have two table address and the customer. So first here we have selected the customer. And in the second table, we have to select the another table that is called as the address table. All right. Then here you can see we have the common column in between customer and the address table is the index table. So just click on this index table. Then again, click on the index column of the address table. Okay. So now what we are doing, we are merging these two tables based on this index column. All right. Then click on this join kind drop down. And here you have to select for the inner join only. Okay. Then click on OK. And here you can see we have successfully created another new table that is called as the merge one table. And this merge one table contain all the column that is present inside this customer table first that is customer is and the gender. And along with that we here you can see we have added another column that is called as the index table because previously we have added this index table in this customer table as well. That's why here we are able to see the four column that is coming from the customer table 
and now we need another columns from this address table as well right so here you can see another column that is called as the address so just click over here okay and here you can see we are able to see all the columns that is present inside this address table right so now just select all the columns apart from this index column okay all right then click on okay and here you can see we have successfully added those three columns that is present inside this address table as well that is address customer address so here just double click on it then rename it as the customer address then click enter likewise just click double click on it then remove this one and keep it as city again double click on it and keep it as state only okay all right now here you can see we have successfully created a new table that contain all the column from this both address table and the customer table okay so just click on close and apply then just wait for a few seconds here the data is loading and previously here you can see we have only two tables that is address as the and the customer table and now here you can see we have successfully added another table called as the merge table and this merge table contain all the column from both the table that is age city and customer from this customer table and customer address gender and the state column that is coming from the address table along with that we have another column that is called as the index column right so to get the output what we can do just click on this table view okay and inside this table we will add all the column from this table except this index column okay so first click on this customer name all right here you can see we have successfully added the customer name then then you can select the gender then age then customer address city and the state column and here you can see we have successfully created a new table that contain all the column from both the table right so in this way we can combine two disconnected table to create a new final table which should contain all the column from these two disconnected table all right so thanks for watching take care bye bye